Well, the Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, has reaffirmed its commitment to democracy, transparency and equity during its General Assembly in Kaduna State. The Chairman, Honorable Amati Jani Mustafa, emphasized IPAC's role in promoting good governance and impartiality while also advocating the interests of all parties. Dr. Abdul Isyak, the Governor's Special Advisor on Stakeholders' Relations, welcomed feedback from political parties and urged IPAC to prioritize voter education ahead of the upcoming local government elections. In governance, those strategies that you think if you could have won the election, this is what you have, will bring to the people of Kaduna State. We say, please let us tap into those things because it is about the people. IPAC can do inter and intra party conflicts so that they can resolve it. And I was making the point, court. and I was making the point that within IPAC uh, 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 General Assembly, they should not allow themselves to go to pages of newspaper criticizing one thing or the other. They should use that arm of the alter ADR, the alternative dispute resolution, in resolving intra and intra party issues as well. Time. I thank you for making IPAC strong, united. We can demonstrate, we can demonstrate the strength of our collective resolve to overcome adversity by strengthening our political parties and deepening the internal, deepening internal democracy. IPAC in Kaduna State is now a unified, united team. And with your collective advice, suggestions, and wise counsel, we will definitely recreate a new IPAC with a new sense of belonging, positive direction, and vision. Meanwhile, the Kaduna State Independent Electoral Commission guaranteed the public that the election set for October the 19th will be conducted in a manner that is free, fair and transparent. The Commissioner, Professor Joseph Gambo, urged the Inter-Party Advisory Council to assist in promoting voter education initiatives throughout the 23 councils of the state. We are on our tools to ensure that we conduct the election as contained on our timetable, 19th of October 2024. We want to adhere to the law that says after three years there should be new representatives. We don't want to have a vacuum. We don't want to, we don't want elected representative to hand over to caretaker. We want elected representative to hand over to elected representative. And that's why we are working so hard to ensure that by October 19, we hold our election. So that by 1st of September, which is the last day that the current people are expected to vacate their seats. We should be having new representatives. We are, we are pleading to political parties to establish an Ikara democracy. Let me recall you back to 2015 and 2019. Most of the court cases in this country have been as a result of a canal party crisis. And a lot of seats have been lost. So please, uh, I want you to take note of that. At least establish it in this uh, local government uh, election that is going on, so that you strengthen some of the lapses that you have. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.